Mathematica is a pretty unique piece of software because you can do high level computations like you would with most computer languages, but not only that, there are a lot of typesetting options available in a, for a Mathematica notebook so that you can actually write full documents with live calculations in the documents, which is pretty interesting. This is just a quick formatting guide to show you how to get started with the typesetting options in Mathematica, something a lot of people overlook. And the first thing I want to bring your attention to is on the right hand margin here. We see all these little these braces. What happens here is that we can build in some sort of tier system within the document where we have the title, subsections, etc. For example, in this particular one, 1.1.1 formatting guide is the title of my document. And when I double click the big brace, that pulls in everything that's underneath this particular title. So for example, when I have a section here, I have section title right here, and I click on that brace, it just folds up that particular section. So if I wanted to, I could have almost like a table of contents here, and as people work through my document, they can just open it up as time goes on, which is a pretty interesting feature. Another thing is that in between cells, if you notice the cursor goes from vertical to horizontal, I can insert a new cell. And the default input style is Wolfram language, which is our calculation language. So I could just type in, for example, sine pi, and it can compute that for me. If I wanted to write text, I can do that as well. You see the little plus here. I can change my input to plain text, for example, and just insert a paragraph at any point that I need. Okay, now I have a few exercises listed here that we're going to work through. And it's just about creating a, a notebook that has good formatting. So I have a blank notebook here, and I'm just going to work through my exercises in this notebook. So if you see, the first one says, let's create a title that reads 1.1.1 formatting guide. And underneath the title, let's create a subtitle with name and date. Okay, so that is going to look just like we have up here at the top. Now, there's a hotkey, Alt-1, that will put in my title for me. So I hit Alt-1. Notice I have a cell over here, and the font and everything is already set how I want. You can change that. I'm not going to really cover that in this document. If you don't want to use the hotkeys, you can just go to Format Style, and here we have listed as Title. Now underneath that, we are going to add a subtitle, which does not have a hotkey. I'll just go down to Subtitle, and I'm going to put my name and date. All right, so, so far, so good. And notice the hierarchy is listed here in the brackets like we wanted. Secondly, we want to insert a section that reads section one. So section, I could use hotkey alt four. So when I press alt four, and it has section one ready to go. And so moving on to exercise three, we want to insert a subsection that reads subsection one writing with text. Okay, so subsection, alt five is my hotkey. So I hit alt five, subsection one, writing with text. Now again, if you don't want to use hotkeys, I forget them every once in a while, you just get a format style down a subsection and it will put that in for me. Okay, now going to exercise four, it says underneath subsection one, let's insert a second subsection that reads subsection two using Wolfram language. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here underneath subsection one, I'm gonna hit Alt-5, subsection two using Wolfram language. So there's my second subsection. For exercise five, we want to place the cursor between the cells and we want to insert a text cell that says, how many ways can we select four winners out of a group of 50 people? Okay, so I'm gonna put my cursor in between these two subsections and sometimes it's helpful to see where those cells are in the margin. So between the cells, I can hit Alt-7 as a hotkey. If I didn't want to do that, again, I can go, when the cursor turns horizontal, you'll notice a little plus here. I can just put in a plain text input, and then just type like we would in Microsoft Word or some other text editor word processor. Lastly, for exercise six, beneath subsection two, we want to answer this previous question just by typing in the calculation in Wolfram language. Okay, so insert my cursor below subsection two. Remember the default input is Wolfram language. So I'm ready to calculate. And here I just need to know how to select four winners out of a group of 50 people. 
If you don't know that formula, that's okay. That's not the object of this lesson, but the answer is 50 factorial divided by four factorial times 46 factorial. This is a combination. It's what we're calculating or a binomial coefficient. So there's my answer. Okay, so this is a pretty simple document. The labs that we use going forward will follow this format. And hopefully this makes sense on how to make your documents readable um, and look pretty good. They're actually full books that were written within Wolfram Mathematica. If you have any questions on this, please let me know. I hope it makes sense and is easy to follow. And uh, you can reach out to me either through comments or email. I'd be happy to help. And thank you for watching.